Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, I am sharing Spellbinder's Glimmer Kit of the Month and Small Die of the Month. Subscribing to kits like this can really help build up your stash of dies and foil plates and foils. So these are the two cards we're gonna to create today. The small die is on the left, it's called Floating Bunny, and the Glimmer Kit is on the right, and it is called Glimmer Edge Roses. So to start with Floating Bunny, you get a lot of different dies. There are dies to create a swing to put the bunny on. There are also dies for balloons and strings for those balloons. So the bunny could be floating on balloon strings, holding on to those, or the bunny could be sitting on the swing and swinging. You could combine them. I'm gonna do a little bit of that today, but be sure to check out my Instagram. There will be a blog hop and I'll share it on my Instagram as well where I'm gonna do a completely different design with this set. There's lots that you can do with it. So I have die cut the swing and the kind of ropes for the swing out of gold mirror cardstock from Spellbinders. I have the clouds cut out of Nina Solar White cardstock. I've got the bunny cut out of white cardstock and some pieces cut out of pink as well. And the same pink I used to cut out the balloons and the little knots for the balloons. So each die of balloon comes with a little knot on the side so you don't lose those teeny tiny dies, which I think is a brilliant design. There's also three word dies. I cut those out of the mirror gold as well, and it says swing into spring. So the bunny die actually has a bunch of different pieces separate. And the reason that that's great is because you can really customize how the bunny's arms are in proportion to whatever else you have have going on with the design of your card. I'm gonna use Ultra Bond liquid adhesive today to adhere all these little bits down. And the reason that I like the Ultra Bond is because it has a slightly slower dry time. So I can position all these pieces exactly where I want them. And if they don't go down exactly where I want them, I can move it for a few seconds before it completely dries. So I have the little white ears and then I've cut out the pink that goes inside the ear and for the second piece, when I first put it down, it was definitely crooked and I was able to kind of just use my finger to move that around until it was in the spot in the center of the ear exactly where I wanted it. Behind the little bunny face, I cut a small piece of cardstock. I'm gonna glue that down by putting the liquid glue on the bunny's face and then putting that little triangle on top. That's going to, from the front side, color the little bunny's nose pink. And I'm gonna do the same thing with a small piece of black cardstock to color in the bunny's eyes so that it doesn't look like the bunny doesn't have any eyes there. And then I'm gonna use the same liquid glue, just a little dot on the neck, to put the head right on top. So I know these pieces look tiny, but they're not really that difficult to put together as long as you kind of have a small liquid glue like the pen here that allows you to put just a tiny dot down. So those little balloon knots, I put a dot on each of them there's like a circle attached that gets hidden under the balloon and then the knot sticks out at the end. Really, really simple. For the strings, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the liquid glue on top of the string and then I'm gonna adhere the balloon on top. Now, the strings are pretty long, which gives you a lot of leeway to decide where you want them on the card and you'll have plenty of string to go down to the bottom. So I realized quickly that I could put the adhesive a little further down and hide that top of the string behind the balloon, but whatever's easiest for you is totally fine. For the ears, they have a little round spot at the bottom of the ear that holds a dot of liquid adhesive, and then you can just hold the head on top and that will glue those ears to the head. There's also a little tail you can see that's easy to put together as well. And then here are the ropes for the swing, and I am going to have those floating in the sky and I'm gonna cover them up with some of those clouds. So now I wanted to put the basic box Body of the bunny down so I am popping that up on some foam squares and then I'm gonna pop each balloon up on one foam square as well so that I can kind of figure out where the bunny's arms need to go I'm gonna cut off the excess of the string you see how much you get there so you could have the balloons way at the top of the card you could even have them on a larger card than an A2 and I'm gonna use the same liquid glue behind each of the words I could have cut these out with some thin adhesive sheets behind them. I didn't think of it at the time, but the liquid glue worked just as well. And the great thing about the words is that they have the little dots for the eyes attached to the words. So you don't have to worry about that. Little bunnies, 
arms I just glued down flat to the card. I think it looks fine even though the body's kind of popped up. It was just an easier way to have the hands actually looking like they were grabbing the strings. And now I'm gonna cut this panel down to four by five and a quarter because I felt like it was just too open on the sides so I wanted to mat it on a slightly darker color of cardstock. But look at how fun that is, super, super cute. Okay, this is the Glimmer Kit. It's Glimmer Edge Roses. So you can see the thick edge on the foil plates at the bottom and and then on the top, there are dies that cut each of those out. And there's also a foil, it's called Aura. It's a really pretty foil. I have my glimmer machine on, I'm waiting for the platform to warm up. Now that it's green, it is warm and ready to go. So for these, I like to do them one at a time. I know that seems a little excessive, but I feel like especially with different foils and different foil plates, sometimes it's easier to get a really good impression if you just do the one at a time. So I put a small piece of foil with the color side down and the silver side facing up and then a piece of cardstock on top. This time I'm using both plates. Now again, I will link here to my glimmer tips and tricks on how I get the best foiling. But for this foil and these foil plates, I found using both plates rather than a plate and a cardstock shim to work really, really well. So I guess the tip there is just don't get set in your ways. You have to sometimes try different formulations of sandwiches. I have a couple of detail brushes from the stamp market and some ink cubes from the stamp market. And since I foiled on that smooth cardstock that I love to use, the 100 pound hammer mill, I am able to color in these leaves and roses with these detail brushes. And no matter what ink you use, it will be a really smooth blend because the cardstock is really smooth, but the stamp market ink blends really smoothly anyway. For the roses, I'm gonna use a couple of different colors of ink. I'm gonna start with the lightest color and start from the inside and circular motion going out. And then I'm going to use a secondary color once all of those are done. And this is just a way to get a gradient of color on these roses really, really simply. So no Copic coloring involved, no fancy blending and shading, just filling in with these tiny little brushes and using a couple of different colors so that you have a dark part and a light part to those colorings. If you notice that some of your ink ended up on your foil, it will act as a resist. So just get a soft dry cloth and rub away the ink on top of the foil and then that foil will stand out and shine like it's supposed to. Now I'm going to use some pink tape from Thermoweb to hold all my dyes in place and I'm gonna cut them out. And the beauty of the Glimmer Edge set like this is that there's going to be no white around them. It's all glimmer. So that's why you get that extra thick line on the foil plate so that when you cut them out, there is no white edge to these dies. I embossed a background with the Spellbinders Sun Rays embossing folder and ink blended on that and then popped up a glimmer sentiment from the More Sentiments Glimmer Foil Plates. If you love seeing new products, product reviews, and card making techniques, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I have a new video available. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. I am just cruising through this one. <laughs> thank goodness, because I looks like I don't have a lot of light left. <laughs> but, you know.